It's a real sign of the times how um, raging this debate has become because I can remember us talking about it a few years ago. And, you know, it was kind of like, uh, whatever, printing sucks. But now it's kind of getting serious. I think printing is a magic technology. Don't get me wrong, right? I think it's a great, great technology for complex temporary applications predominantly. Then it still comes down to, yes, how expensive is the machine? How many machines do you need? How fast is the workflow? How proven is the outcome, right? What's, what's the end crown that you get? How long does it last? How easy is it to place? And how much manual work? So the post-processing is the piece in there. And I think there's a reason why in other industries like aerospace or automotive, printing was introduced, but CNC mills didn't go away, right? So if you just take that as an analogy for dentistry, why would it be different in dentistry? Yeah, true. Different and I- technologies enable different types of things. And we shouldn't try to always force a technology on something which is proven to work. I also agree. Look, to me, when I look at 3D printing and milling, this kind of discussion that goes on and on and on and on, to me, I think you hit the right things. I mean, milling still has the advantage in saying, look, we have materials that have been in the market for decades. Some are decades, literally. Uh, We're printing every six months, we get a new resin and we don't know... (laughs) It's hard to, I really feel sorry for dentists trying to figure this out because it's, it's hard to really understand what works now in digital dentistry because it, yeah. the, the pace of innovation is so fast. I agree with you. And I think ultimately, since there is so much innovation and it's so hard to sort out, people also revert to what's proven. 